day from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. It's week 11 of the NFL on EA Sports. his way forward only for a couple here second down and Charles despite this list of key inactives that we see here they've obviously still been pretty successful give everyone credit for this one because to me when that happens key guys are out the next man steps up and plays well but that starts with the organization itself all the way through no excuses for guys being out finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them and we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, Anderson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Smith. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. On third down, it's Walton. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Switch it up here and look to throw. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. to throw on second down. And that is incomplete. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. He's able to find Miller. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 20-yard line. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did. And what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Looking to throw, Anderson. Miller to 
return this time, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 29. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Anderson now throwing on third and long. This is Miller, complete. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. With the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Complete. Smith has it. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Now a give, right side. One. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's Anderson looking to throw on second down. Over the middle complete. It's Smith. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. to throw. Anderson escaping the pressure right. It's caught by Mike Evans. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 27-yard line. to throw. Anderson eluding the pressure right. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3 nothing. our score. On first and ten, he finds his man complete. That's Walton. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Three yards the gain there, second down. Back to throw. Anderson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. What a great drive that was. A long drive, sustained, well executed. I love what we're seeing out of him here in year two, right? This young quarterback continues to evolve and grow. He's really the adage right now that John Wood.
throw is Anderson on first down. Going deep this time for Miller. He's got a man complete. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Looking to throw. Anderson, he's going to let it go again. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And the Lions are going to get the football back at their own 17. on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. They run again with Walton able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They'll run on first down. Walton. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. On second down now, it's Walton. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. On first down, Walton, and he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Flushed out right. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing but they go for big yardage in here. They got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Now Anderson to throw on second down. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you're one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's playing ball downfield as well. 55 rushing yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. A oh, lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Fournette. No gain on the play there. Second down. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. On second down, 
It's Walton. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Anderson now on third down. Flush to his right. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Buccaneers are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the map there. They'll run on first down. Walton. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Walton. About three yards there to the 27. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. The Bucks on third down. They've been outstanding. Seven first downs and eight tries. They're up against a third and one situation. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. He stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, Frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Yeah, that is incomplete. Anderson throwing on first down. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Scotty Miller, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Buccaneers extend their lead, and they are about to get to a 9-2 record. So that drive there, CD, a good response, and that might be the one that gets them to the finish line, a comfortable lead. Yeah, and that's all about not letting the team back into a game because they just gave up a touchdown. It was back to a two-score game, and anything can happen in that situation. But instead, they came through with a really terrific drive right there that ended in six. So you like to slam the door on teams. In this case, they're trying to lock it as well. They're going to try and run. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. So they kept it on the ground, got it into the end zone. But Charles, sometimes you probably see teams treat the two-point conversion differently than if it was first and goal from the two, or I should say third and goal from the two. I agree with you totally on that. A lot of teams treat it as if they have farther to go and shy away from running the football. I think this is a great spot to do it because most teams...
And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. successful. week as the Pittsburgh Steelers come to town. Meanwhile, for Detroit, it's a loss that'll drop them back to 500 through 10 games. And they'll be back home next week for a date with the New York Jets. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Thank <laughs> you.